18 of the 25 days of Christmas tag. Today I'm going to be showing you my lipstick collection. I have gathered many lipsticks over the years. It's a lot of noise. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of an obsession with them. So if you guys can see my lipstick collection. Then keep on watching. Like liquid lipsticks, regular lipsticks, lip glosses, and stuff like that. But that was gonna take way too long, so I'm just gonna pull, pull and show. And I do have random stuff in here, like a hair clip. But other than that, it's all lipsticks. So this one right here is a nice pinky. I'm not gonna swatch them on my lips because A, it's really late night, and B, my lips aren't super dry, so I don't wanna put my lips through anything really harsh. This is a sugar liquid lipstick. It doesn't, all this stuff is one off. Oops, it is a lip gloss. It's not a lip gloss. Love burn. Sorry, that was probably, I don't know if I'd be able to see that. Yeah, you won't be able to. But see, all the writing has scratched off. And it's not a lip gloss at all. It's a liquid lipstick. I don't know why it says it lip gloss on it. But it's a very pink party shade. Love it for the summer looks. Next, every morning, I put on my EOS lip balm. I have no idea what shade this is in. As you can see, I have lots of lipstick all over it. Because I've had this for quite a while. Oh, I forgot to show you the applicator. I don't know if you guys are really interested in that. But just in case you are. Hold on. Sorry about this. If you guys will see, if not, let's cut this part. So, just a doe foot applicator. Sorry, guys. I know I'm so unprofessional. Um, next to my EOS lip balm. I've had this for so long and I've used it so much, but it's like barely even dented. I don't know how these people who make DIY EOS lip balms are like, oh, I used this one up in like a week. And I was like, that doesn't happen with EOS, to be honest. This one, the next one, does not have an applicator. It is the NYX Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Moody. I love this up. It's such a nice, mauvey, dark shade. It's not as dark as packaging, but still, it's so, so nice. I love this for winter months, if you guys can tell. Oh, I don't think you really can tell. But I do have a lot of pinks and stuff, but I prefer to wear mauvey colors. Next, I'll hold this one. Once again, all the writing is sketched off, and I have no idea who it's from. Yeah. It's just a really nice, a little bit darker than Barbie shade. There's nothing written on it, so sorry. But, uh, and the thing doesn't screw on, it just kind of sits on the top. Once again, this regular Dolph applicator. I'm so sorry this video is really messed up. I just filmed three other videos because um, I'm kind of behind in videos just because of formal and I had to write five, um, no, ten pages of notes on five different topics one night and I had to take a bunch of pictures for a class, for a foods class. Um, it's just been a really hectic weekend. Tomorrow I start final, so I should be studying, but I have to film, I have to film these videos. I like to film videos, but I don't feel like this is a chore. So next, I'm just going to show you them. I don't have any liquid lipsticks with special doe applicators. I don't actually have one, but I'll save that one for last. Um, but yeah, I just have the NYX Liquid Suede Lippy in the shade 11S, I mean LSCL. It's a really lovely red shade, which I use for my classic red lip, which I haven't worn much this winter. I also have another... NYX liquid suede, suede, is that one? I'm missing that right? Suede in 09 LSCL. I guess I'll have SLCL. I can't pull that one out. Okay, anyway, I have this Tarte Tartist lip paint in the color Festival. It's a nice, you won't be, you can't really tell. It looks really pink on camera, but it's actually really purpley and mauve in real life. It's more brownish, purplish. Sorry about the lighting, but like, it's really beautiful for the lips for not a natural look but a little bit hit of an unnatural look. Next I have this Revolution Makeup Revolution London lip pencil in the shade Echelon. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'll put it up on the screen because I will never focus. And these things are so hard you have to, it's plastic, right, but you have to sharpen it. It's really annoying and as you can see it's really hard to sharpen evenly. So the lip liner only looks nice once I guess. That's okay. I mean, random pencil. And next, I have this Love and Beauty by Forever 21 Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade. Oh, that's really small. Red. That's nice. Um, yeah, it's really, really dark red. Um, it's purpley red. You won't be able to see it on camera, but in comparison, as you can see, it's very, very dark. This looks so orange on camera. It's not. It's a classic cherry red. As you can see, it's much darker. Yeah, it's really, really dark. Next, I have this Baby Lips in the shade Cherry Me. It's a little lip balm. Oh, you can't see. I've got some nail glue on the top of it. As you guys can see. 
Almost out. Well, not almost out, but that means a lot of it. Let's do so much doing. Okay, next I have these Ulta Beauty. Is that lip? That's a lip gloss? <gasps> what? Um, technical difficulties. Okay, so next I have these Ulta Beauty matte lip creams. This brown one is the shade Tender. Don't really like that name. And then this one is called Bombshell. It's a really nice pink color. It's very natural. And then my Ulta lip gloss that I was colored with is called the Color Rush lip gloss in the shade Jackie. And a few more more to go, guys. Now I have this Revolution lipstick in the shade Lust. And this one is super drying on the lips. It looks so nice for a couple of seconds. And then it just goes really dry. I like to use it under the gloss because it's just such a pretty color to it, but it's drying. What can you do? Next are some crazy lip colors that I love to use on special occasions. First is this like pure... See, everything just looks so different on camera. This is pure brown. It's a pure brown vampy lipstick from Ulta. It's gonna come in a kit because I love kits. I have a strange obsession with them. So that's the Ulta ones. Next, I have this Too Faced Lippy in the shade Unicorn Tears. I am so mad at this one. You can't, you cannot roll it up. Like, it gets stuck. And I'm so mad because I have to, like, get a brush and, like, dig into it. I'm mad, but it's been over 60 days since I got it, so I can't get a refund. I'll get a new one. I want one refund. I just want a new one. My last lipstick is this Kat Von D lipstick in the shade Magic. It's such a beautiful color. Kat Von D's lipsticks are an amazing formula. They glide on, and this one is very special because it is truly magic, and it has glitter in it. It's so good. I love glitter. And finally, this is the lippy I was telling you about. This is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Out Loud. So you guys might recognize this from my... Sorry, I'm going to get a bad angle again. Um, it's from my Tea About Etsy video. So it is a very nice orange color that I love to use when I'm wearing very dark clothing. So that is all the look that is all the lipstick I have. I think I might have a small obsession with mauve and dark lipsticks. But that's okay with me because I love them. So if you guys like this video and want to see more of me, go ahead and comment down below what you want to see next and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like, share this video, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow for day 19 of the 25 days of Christmas tag.